Carter here. So, it's another blast of hot weather. Oh, come on, people. We've uh, we had about a week of nice weather. And, and now we're into uh, really hot weather and thunderstorms. My favorite. Mm -mm -mm. This is probably going to be the last day I'm going to get the ride for about a week. They've, uh, they've said the weather is going to be horrible for uh, about the next four or five days. We'll see. The weathermen uh, have that wonderful job where you, you can be wrong most of the time and still get paid. I'm just heading back. There's actually a line of thunderstorms right now. I look at the weather radar just going along. You can see, I don't know if the camera can see it, but I'm going down the escarpment in a second. And on the opposite side of the escarpment, about two, three miles, about five kilometers away, there's a whole string of thunder, thunderstorms heading basically up from that direction down to where Buffalo, New York is. So I had to wait for the uh, thunderstorms to uh, be far enough away that I would not get caught in them. I am a fair weather rider and I'm 90% cat because I hate getting wet. But it's, that bike's, like I'm just ticking along at uh, a hair over the speed limit and my bike's at 91 uh, Celsius, which is toasty. It's not as hot as it can get, but it's pretty toasty. So I hope everyone else's summer is going well. Uh, this is our uh, third heat wave of the uh, the year now. Hopefully, this one won't be as bad as the uh, the last one because that one was almost three weeks long. Nice being in here in the shade. Hopefully they put a. Uh, a smash barrier on the bridge there, so if someone comes in with a tall truck, they're going to hit the I-beam. I used to have lots of these uh, mountain accesses, but they've been closing them down because they don't want to do the maintenance. This road actually goes further, like across the stop sign here, like across the road. It actually goes further and goes up into, into what's Ancaster. The only problem is it's a gravel road and it's not like a, like a fine sand and chip gravel road. It's, uh, it's like the big deep, like Alaskan highway gravel. Uh, Sulphur Springs Road. It's actually a nice road. It hooks up to a real nice road, but now that's uh, motocross bike territory. And I do not know why they haven't paved it. It's been that way for as long as I can remember. Oh, and the frost heaves it. wondering about the speed here because there's a speed trap that runs right here actually that little section there is one place they park and the entrance
entrance to the, uh, the conservation area is where they park. And then on this road here, in the shade there, they park. Like I say, this is like a serious speed trap because like the speed drops to 50 here. And it also will sit just over here where the uh, end of the Armco barrier is. You can see like the gravel or these side roads, but. a little short video if it wasn't so hot I would drive down some of the roads the side roads and stuff because I don't really go out there very often but yeah, it's way too hot for that anyways I hope you're all having a good day